Hi everyone, this is Noel. I'm not Steve Buscemi, and I'm with creationeffects.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make this in After Effects. Fire! Yeah! And without using any third-party plugins. And I don't think it's ever been done before, uh, not realistically, and not without expensive plugins. I know there are a lot of tutorials out there, but they're all far from realistic in my opinion. So today I'm going to share with you the secret formula for creating fire in After Effects, uh, but it comes with a warning. Um, this effect can be really hard to customize because of the complexity. Uh, I know it took me a long time, so if you want to save yourself a lot of time and headache, check out the fire and smoke template from uh, creationeffects.com. It's all about easy customization and it comes with tons of stuff. It has lots of different kinds of fire with customization controls to make it look how you want. And it has different kinds of smoke and sparks and keying effects and a really cool heat haze effect to let you add heat distortion to your footage. And it's very flexible. You have all the control you could ever want over the heat haze. And also the entire project file for the demo video is included as well. So if you haven't seen the demo video, it's got all these title animations. So you can just plug in your text and get an animation like this flamethrower reveal here. And here's some sample effects I made with the template. Uh, you can make asteroids or fire superpowers. This is my daughter here. Uh, or you can just add realistic fire to your footage or motion graphics. So if you want your fire to look just like this, then great. Uh, this tutorial is perfect for you, but if you want to customize it or do anything interesting with it, I really recommend you buy the template. It's not expensive. It's called Fire and Smoke, and it's at creationeffects.com. Okay, now with that out of the way, I'm going to go through the process quickly because uh, my tutorials are all about just giving you the info you need to know and not explaining every little thing. So let's get started. Uh, I'll start a new comp. Um, we'll call it Fire, and black is good. 1920 by 1920 is fine. That's, that's nice and big, because uh, we can always scale it down later. Everything looks better when it's scaled down. Uh, make sure your resolution is something low, like quarter, for fast playback. And uh, let's add a new layer. Go to Layer, New, Solid. And um, white is fine. We'll call this one Fire as well. And let's start adding effects now to build our fire. Uh, the first one we need is CC Particle World Effect. Um, so in your effects and presets, you can just start typing CC particle, and it'll show up here. So double click that. And this effect will give us the general shape for the fire. Um, we don't need to see all of this stuff. No one ever does. It's useless. Um, just go into grid and guides and just uncheck everything here. And let's play it back. So we can see we got something like sparks here, not really the look we're going for. So we'll we'll just change some things in here. Um, first of all, go into physics and change the animation to fire. So all the particles will now move up. Let's bring it down. We want our base near the bottom here. So go into producer and change the position Y property. And we can also make the base wider uh, using the radius X property here. Okay. Back in the physics area here, uh, let's change the velocity to 1.7 and gravity to 2, resistance to 0 0.6, and extra to 1.5. I'm just looking at my cheat sheet here. Um, these are the settings that I used in the uh, campfire preset in my template. Uh, so that's enough of physics. Um, now Let's change these lines. That's the particle type. So make that faded sphere. And we'll change the burst size to 1.5 and the death size to 0 0.9. And also, uh, lastly, we'll change the birth rate to 0 0.7 and the longevity to 0 0.55. And let's take a look. All right, so that's starting to look kind of fire-ish. Fi fire-ish? That's a word. Fire-ish. But we need to add some more effects. So 
uh, first of all, I like to get rid of this really feathered edge here. And you can do that with a matte choker effect. So if you type it in here, you can put that on. Uh, change the choke one all the way down to zero and increase the gray level softness a little bit. Um, so you can see without the choker, it's very feathered. With the choke choker, it's a little more sharp, which is good. Next, we can add a warp effect. Change the warp style to arc lower and turn down the bend all the way. This effect will make it more narrow at the top and wider at the bottom, so it kind of makes it, the fire go into a cone shape, which I think is a little bit more like real fire. So, so just turn the vertical distortion up a little to like 40. Now the particle world makes all these little circles, which if you were making, I don't know, fairy dust, then that'd be great, but it's not very fire-like. Uh, we need to make these shapes more irregular and more like a fire. And you can do that with a turbulent displace effect. So just change the amount to 35 and the size to 150 and the complexity to four. And you can see that's already making the shapes more, um, more like a fire. The offset turbulence property here, you can see it just moves the turbulence. And we want the turbulence to move upward with the particles. Uh, to do that, I'm gonna add an expression on the offset turbulence property here. And you don't need to know anything about expressions. You can just copy what I'm doing. Uh, Alt-click on that stopwatch icon and it'll open up an expression box down here. And I'm just gonna type in y equals time times negative 4,000, semicolon, and the next line should say opening bracket, value in brackets, put to zero, comma, y, and then close the bracket. That's it for that one. So that'll make the turbulent displace, the turbulence move upward with the, uh, the particles. And also I wanna put a simple expression on the evolution property. That one can just say time times 800. And that'll make the evolution um, change over time. So let's look at that. Much more fire-like now. And let me show you something else. Uh, in the particle world effect, if you want, you can change this composite mode to add, and you can see that makes the, the base brighter. And uh, make sure your colors are kind of fire-ish, like the birth color can be a bright yellow, and the death color can be a red or orange, something darker. And, uh, if you increase the birth rate a little bit, make it thicker. So that's not a bad look. That might be something you're going for. It's kind of cartoonish. There's no real detail in there. I just wanted to show you that you can do that. Uh, I'm gonna change it back because I want it to be more realistic. Uh, we just need to add some texture to the fire. And we can do that with a fractal noise effect. There. So I hope you like this tutorial, um, and I hope you like the fire. No, I'm just kidding. Relax. Uh, we gotta make a lot of changes to this. So in the fractal noise effect, change fractal type to smeary, and soft linear is good, and invert it, and contrast at 100, and brightness at negative 20, and change the blending mode down here to none. Um, also, open up that transform section and turn off uniform scaling. And the scale width can be 180 and the scale height can be 400. And lastly, the complexity can be 2.3. So 
So the texture is staying still, and we want it to move upward with the particles, just like we did with the turbulent displace effect. So back in here, I want to open up an expression box for uh, right here, offset turbulence, and also an expression for the. Uh, we need an expression for the evolution to make the evolution change over time. Um, I'll make this really big so we can see everything. And if you scroll up, uh, you should be able to still see the expressions you wrote in the turbulent displace effect. You can just copy those and paste them in the fractal noise effect. So now the fractal noise moves up with the particles, just like the turbulence does, uh, which is what we want. It's all black and white. Um, if you change the colors in your particle world effect, you could just change the blending mode on the fractal noise effect. It might give you a good look. Um, what I like to do, I like to keep the blending mode at none and then add a colorama effect. Open up Output Cycle and change the preset palette to say Fire. And then also in Modify, uncheck Modify Alpha. It's kind of thin, right? I mean, it's it, there's not a lot going on here. There's just a few small flames. Um, so what I like to do is add this effect called Echo. And what it does is it just plays back the flame over itself, like an echo of the flame. Um, you can change the echo time here. We'll make it at one second intervals, and we'll, it'll play two echoes on top of itself. So what that does is it, it'll brighten it, and it'll add some depth, um, because you've got multiple textures and multiple particles now playing over itself. If you want, you could add a glow to this. I'm just going to leave it. Uh, and then my last effect that I'm going to add is a vertical blur to it. It's called directional blur, actually. So you can see this is vertical now, and I'll just increase this to something like 25. So that blurs it, which I think it, it needs it because all of these really sharp lines in here you don't really see that in fire so i like this vertical blur and it also kind of gives it a motion blur because you can't really turn on motion blur here and have it work on particles but the directional blur will do that for you okay let's play that back one one last thing that i i would do uh, you can duplicate this layer and we'll just offset it a little bit so that it it plays different flames. And um, change the blending mode to something like screen. And that'll, just like the echo effect, it gives it an extra depth and it'll brighten it up a little bit. Maybe turn down the opacity. It's whatever, you're on your own now. It's whatever you want to do. Um, okay, I'll play this back. So there you have it. You should have a realistic looking campfire sized fire now. If you like this effect, uh, if it helped you out and you want to give me um, some of the love that I so desperately crave, please like this video or share it. And remember, you can download the Fire and Smoke After Effects template from creationeffects.com. And it has this campfire and a lot more. And we have a lot of other great stuff for After Effects too, like uh, VHS effects and glitch effects and custom 3D books and old film effects, ink bleeds, and lots of different kinds of art effects uh, for changing your footage into animated art. <laughs>